Guy Bourassa today with us, CEO of Scandium Canada. Good to have uh, you with us today. Uh, before going into your story and why Scandium Canada is such an amazing company, we want to know a bit more about Scandium. What is it used for uh, and why is it so important? Yeah, well, currently Scandium is mainly used to uh, the making of uh, solid oxide fuel cell, uh, hydrogen uh, cells. It's also used a little bit for the master alloys, scandium aluminum alloys. So you mix a little bit, very little bit of scandium with aluminum and it makes a significant uh, alloy strength, corrosion, the corrosion resistant and also uh, dissipates the heat. So it's as light as aluminum, but as the strength of titanium and uh, steel, mm. but with very, very little uh, weight. Right. And so in terms of your company, more particularly, um, Scanium Canada is the most exciting uh, Scanium project. Uh, why is that? Like, what's the main reason for that? Oh, well, it's interesting. The quote from a professor of a university that is currently working on a PhD on Scandium. Uh, it is the most exciting around the world for the main reason is that it is the only primary source of scandium currently being developed in the world. We have to understand that scandium currently is only supplied because it's a byproduct of a main operation. So there's little supply available that prevents or stop the increase in new products based on scandium aluminum alloys. So the interest of this project here, it's a huge, massive uh, source of our drug scandium based and it's the primary and only source in the world. Right. And for 2024, uh, your company, uh, what are the catalysts uh, that investors should look for uh, or that are coming up? Yeah, well, investors first should uh, know that we filed a preliminary economic assessment back in 2022, updated the resource estimate in 2023. All the PEA is based on a 25 year initial mine life with a very huge potential of increasing the size of the resource brought back 1.7 billion, 1.7 billion net present value at 10%. Right. So it warrants to continue. So it's what we've been doing currently. We're well advanced into the environmental social impact assessment, uh, all of starting the pre permitting process, negotiations with the First Nations to access right. the land, uh, and uh, also starting to advance metallurgical work towards the pre-feasibility study sometime in 2025. Totally. So it's uh, a lot a lot of milestones to be achieved uh, in a very short period of time in 2024. Right. And in terms of your jurisdiction, I know you're in Quebec, uh, one of the best provinces uh, for mining. Uh, how has that helped you uh, get to this point uh, right now? And uh, how is it going to keep helping you? I think it's not only because we're in Quebec, it's because we're in Canada. That right. we'll, we will be helped because we have also to remember that Scandium is on the critical mineral list of Canada and US, mm -hmm. among others. And because of that, we will be able to, to be subsidized to a high level. First, the project is north of the 55th parallel. So it allows us to receive 75% on subsidy right. for all the work that is required to bring this project to shovel ready level. Right. So uh, currently we just applied for a $9.5 million grant to cover the next two years of, uh, of expenses, well, 75% of right. the expenses. So that will help because in this very bad market currently that we are, very difficult to find hard money. Mm -hmm. So the fact that it's subsidized to that level right. will allow us to continue grow and bring value to the shareholders. 100%. Uh, what's actually, can you expand a little bit about the share structure right now you have? Uh, is that a possibility? No, oh, absolutely. Yeah. We have a uh, small market cap of $14 million, about 216 million shares outstanding. It's important to realize that this company was formed through a reverse takeover. So there was never an IPO done. So mm. there are only private placements in the last five years. And uh, so the distribution is small and uh, it will gain traction as we move uh, towards the, the next phase. Usually the rule of thumb for the market cap of a company at this level of advancements should be about 10% roughly of the net present value of a, of a PEA. Mm -hmm. Well, currently we're trading below 1% of that the net present value. So the upside is tremendous. The minute we announce that we signed the, um, the uh, 
pre-development agreement with the First Nation, then uh, that we confirmed that we were awarded $9.5 million in grant. Imagine what that yeah. will be due to the stock. So yeah. those are the two main yes. news that are to Absolutely. come. Yes. Amazing. The rest is maybe too technical or flowing, but this is outside the box and this is important. Right. And and so the last question, uh, which you've probably already answered a little bit, uh, what is the long-term uh, goal of, of, of oh. your company? Very easy. This is the single primary source of Scandium in the world. This is going to change the absolute picture of Scandium aluminum alloy because it will allow people that have the interest to, to use Scandium aluminum in, in their parts, planes, cars, uh, trains, whatever, boats. It will allow them to develop that market. Right. So we are at the beginning of a new era of alloys because there will be a large supply in a safe jurisdiction with the capacity to meet the demand and the expected creative new demand. Right, and it will support the, the green revolution in a sense as well, well right? because... No, imagine, you take a, a, a car with a steel frame, you replace that by a Scandium aluminum frame, you reduce by, let's say, two, 300 kilos. It's way lighter. Well, lighter, reduces the fuel or extend the range of your existing battery mm -hmm. in your electric vehicle, and it helps. You can reduce the weight of a plane by about 25%. Wow. So imagine the cost saving. Yeah, a lot less fuel. Yes, absolutely. A lot less cost. So it's got cost saving, but also less emission of uh, GHG. Amazing. Is there anything else you'd like to add uh, to the audience before we close uh, this interview? Well, please keep looking at all the news that we will be providing to the market. And this is a very unique situation. You're at the beginning of a new era in the alloy industry will be there. Guy, thanks for joining us. Hey, merci.